Hey, what's going on, guys? James Warnings here, and welcome back to more F1 2017 Career Mode Guide. We're back again for part number, I believe this is part 57, then, yeah, where we're going to be going ahead towards the Malaysian Grand Prix, and there's a packet that's sucking cold, but that Formula I don't usually don't go anymore. So, yeah, guys, if you haven't seen the four ways live free. Through live free drift, um, the free live stream video of the second book, we have seen that just yet. Well, that way was going to do, didn't go really well as planned for my team. For well, unfortunately, we had a thing how good we saw, but we had to really sort of have to have we we're supposed to be fired for the highest persistence, but unfortunately, we fired ourselves in the downgrades and fired ourselves at the, at the bottom of the field. And unfortunately, I didn't know for my teammate Julian Palmer with the engine mechanical issue to his car. I think it might be a, one of the power units, power units in my house where I doubt though. And yeah, he's got a failure to his car with no smoke coming out of it. And yeah, I made face IP fit after got caught, not taken out by one McGregor's house, which is utterly, utterly disappointed. As we head towards this next race then in Malaysia, we've got the new part and the new durability to be charged. Where to? We probably increase the further about five percent because it kept wearing out too much, and they're probably more hesitant to wear out. Then the turbocharger durability increase by a further thirty percent. All turbocharger components will be more hesitant to wear out. Then sweet purple that will need to help us out because in the last video, the engine power unfortunately got into here, and unfortunately some of the parts are wearing out so too much. And yeah, and I had to look at that then. So yeah. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, let, let's have a look at the panel. This is what it looks like after the Singapore Grand Prix. And if you haven't watched that four-way slice video, unfortunately, that fair was lasted for over three hours because I had to pause it there because because that day was my mum's birthday. And yeah, that's what really happened. So yeah, whether you did not like this, dislike this video, and yeah, it was a hard, long, long race for nearly two hours. And with that, um, I'm afraid we were supposed to get, so I was looking for some support until I got taken out by the House of Grosser and that was disrespectful. And on the last lap, I was willing to the back of Lance Strokes, William, unfortunately the Canadian driver managed to beat me to it then, and still that race objective target that I was sort of facing P40, I'm facing 50, which is not where I wanted to be, and it was a disappointment with we can race, it was in Singapore for for the way of my team where that was, and also for Torwaza and for Force India as well. But anyway, we're hoping to make this up, we'll make it up to us when we get into this next race then, which is in Malaysia, that formula don't go anymore. We're going there for the Malaysian Grand Prix at the Sepang International Circuit in Kuala Lumpur. And, it, and the Patronas sponsored the Mercedes team. And that's the, they found it, and they've sponsored it, even though they're from Malaysia, where the Patrol Towers are, headquarters are, where there's a new dermatology, futuristic uh, types of things, and a good, lovely... Boost the energy and hopefully it'll boost a bright, bright future to see in the future. So yeah, phone call. Say it, damn it. Don't want to hear about that, eh? Anyway, so yeah, bit high for Sal, but God, that's going. They're going so high, high. It's also tall, wasn't the McLaren Honda are. Bear way. Nothing's changed in the drivers' championship. Just a bit of an update change. Though since, so I thought Lewis Hamilton was going to win the Singapore GP with a three-stop strategy, but unfortunately his teammate did a two-stop strategy and he beat his teammate to it. To it. So with Bottas winning, winning out the last race in Singapore, with him winning the Singapore Grand Prix, he's extending his lead by just 12 points from, from his team at Lewis Hamilton. With Bottas, could he be coming the first finished driver since Kimi Waikiki in 2007 to become the new first world champion? Like he would join the like Keke Rosberg, Mick Hacken, and of course Kimi Waikiki as all finished world champions. Then Ricardo won the championship in 2016 in my career mode, so he's had a championship, and there's three time world champion Max Verstappen in P6. And yeah, so we bought us leading the way then from 12 points for his team at Lewis Hamilton with the two free hours of Kimi Wagen ahead of his team at Sebastian Vettel and then the two red balls of David Carter and three times F1 dominance legendary champion Max Verstappen, the Dutchman, two hours double ball he is. He won three champions in 21, 22, 23, one in P6 and then the two force years racing for Red Bull and Alpine, Sergio Perez and Exeter Ocon and the two Hasses, one in IndyCar and one in student in Formula 1. Yeah, Kevin Madison in Formula 1, well, Gross is, in, is that Indy car. Yeah, uh, the two houses ran out the top 10, and up ahead is Gross ahead of his team because Gross has scored, but Madison failed to miss out on the points. Then. That's a disappointment for the Danish driver. And when Mead didn't score anything, we, we stayed in one place for the time being after that Singapore GP. Just ahead of the London so it's McLeod by just 10 points, points there. Well, meanwhile, Flavor Madison moved ahead of Carlos, so I had to move up to 13th. And uh, now the two Toros are now in 14th, 15th. Martina Pond nearly got 
Unfortunately, no, he didn't. He didn't finish the play. He's actually retired for that one play with a mechanical issue and a disappointed in that to add to put into the result for that disappointing race it was for me and for my team at par for the two Brits. Like Mercedes draws and Lewis Hamilton, hey, eh? Like that, hey? Then it's Lance Stroll in 72 goals, single points, then he's cheaper at his home race in Canada. And the three drivers who yet to score then, they are Van Dorn, the season 8 Formula champion, Pascal Fairline, and Marcus Ericsson. And number two in the course of the championship as well, with Mercedes, hoping to hobby, 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 go ahead and grab the team's sort of the championship title. Well, the currently said to be points behind Ferrari, who are not far back then. Yeah, if they, if they can try catching them down in the next few races then, and hopefully that's the sort of championship title from them. Well, meanwhile, Weber will be co- will be comfortably satisfying and will be staying third place for the time being to the end of the season. Ha- for we will remain in fourth, house in fifth. Well, meanwhile, I'm going to try and, my team and I got a lot to do to try and beat Tor Watson for sixth place, even though. Even though Tori was now becoming racing boy after took over from Scuderia uh, after Tori. Yeah, we noticed the, the, like, the team's changing. Like, Force City are now Aston Martin F1 team. Has to do the same. Well, or Alpine. Tori was now becoming new racing bulls. Sabo are stake F1 team coming back to Formula 1 after they became Alpha Mayor for four years. And yeah, sad to say Alpha Mayor say goodbye to Alpha Mayor again since 1951 when they left then. Like, the great like, legendary five time odds time champion, one man in Banjo. But yeah. It's hard to miss him, we're missing so much, eh? And McLaren stood the same answer as Williams, and yeah. I wonder how the new racing balls will come up to life in 2034. Anyway, so, as we head to the race weekend, we got a bit of a confront of uh, consistency to make, because, yeah, because I did have decide that I managed to do it on a piece of paper, I managed to draw out these, this 27 power unit engine of the 2017 F1 car, and with this, um, unfortunately, one of this is completely... Um, all the way in out of each part unit are completely wearing out two miles, and yeah. Even though we've got one then um, wear out on the turbo charge and the motor generated part unit one, so yeah. So yeah. I mean, with all this wear out, it's getting too much about it. And even though we got a few, like, a few races left to go this season, we like six races to go, I think we're going to need some minor adjustment we need to do to the car. So, I think we're going to save the green parts and bit this. I think if any parts are below, are, of 20, are 20, 20% or 50% um, or less than it will be wear out, that we have, we'll save these parts for qualifying and the race. I mean, the rest of them will do the, we'll use the, we'll run them in practice sessions, okay? Okay, so, we, okay, well, I'm going to sort the units out. So, I'm going to save the uh, the fifth part, you know, the utility composite and your ICE. For the race and quality, so I'm going to switch it to the power unit three. I'm going to switch it to so yeah, okay, going down by a few percent over where thirty nine percent. That's not good. Um, the motor generated kit then um, we'll go for the number three. Oh god, one hundred fifty dollars better lifespan, three percent over where. Um, motor generated kit. Maybe it will be a white. Um, probably, possibly, probably. We'll, we'll keep that for practice one. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, anything else we need to change? Um, let's switch. Let's switch the energy store. Let's switch the the energy store system to part unit two. Okay. So there's no penalty inside for these ones. Then um, let's wear a bit of the part unit three for the turbocharger and the control electronics. Well, we're gonna keep it at that. The other way, nearly halfway, halfway the other wear of the engine. So the, that's what we're gonna use up and. No changes to give up. 20 feet, like over 100 laps it has done. Wow, that's too so much. And that's going to be a bit, slightly bit of a problem when we go into, into because Singapore is so long and so is going to be in Malaysia as well for over 75 laps that, or 80 laps it would be as we go through the process and quality and the race itself. But anyway, so hopefully these NDs part will help, help us out then. So with the new, so we got another part of a bit fitted, fitted to come. That's 3 out of 23. So yeah, there we go. It's encrypted. The turbo charge you out too. So. I'm going to say, can we say something else then? I think we should go for a new Saturday because I haven't done, I haven't, we haven't done, done that for quite a while then. Um, I'm going to try and get another, another, another Sussex part and it's going to be the rear foot on the It costs a thousand resource points so we're going to need to get a lot of that then if we're going to get there. We will reduce the weight because let's for the description. With distance to the design of the rear floor on the tray, we start in a weight advantage with no Compromise to strength or aerodynamic performances. I say, if we equip that, so that's what it will be. We equip that to the car. So 
we're it's get that part that is uh, we're uh, infl influenced or insufficient with something. I mean, we haven't got enough resource points just yet. I mean, we have to get some more. We, could, we need to save a lot. We're gonna save it. We're gonna save the rest of it to to the second to the rear floor under train for the classic part, and then we might save the rest of them. We might spend more of this the next season. I think that we will probably do season two. Then, if it happens on season two, just yeah, I haven't turned sixteen just yet. I'll do. I will do that. I will go back to come back to this very soon, you know, like three or four years then since I last played it. But anyway, well, further ado, let's get into the first price of this Malaysian Grand Prix that Formula One don't usually go down anymore, but remains one of the best credible good tracks for Formula One to race there from 1999 to 2017. Incredible, great, solidly 25 years being on the calendar since then. Or was it 15 years or 20 years? I think it was over maybe 90 years. 90 races, yeah. It's been a incredible good 19 years racing in that circuit then. That from one, we had truly done the best to host Grand Prix racing at that circuit in Malaysia. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get to first practice for the Malaysian Grand Prix. Alright guys, I was trying to find the TV room I'm trying to turn this up, but I can't find it anywhere. I, I kept losing around the house, I kept scattering around the house somewhere. Like, not most of the time, because I can't believe it. Ugh. But oh, I'll find it in a bit later on. But, so here we are, they're in the cockpit, in the in the pits, they're in the garage. Way for first practice for the Malaysia Grand Prix, as we're going to do some practice programs. Yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, thank you, Jeff. Alright, so, we had this track that Formula don't usually go, not go there anymore, that to that circuit anymore, to host the Malaysia Grand Prix, but anyway, we're in the, yeah, uh, no one has to come out of the track right now, so, we don't need to, no need to worry about that now, we don't need to watch uh, any drivers coming out of the track right now for the live TV fair feed, fed there, because we're going straight into this, the practice program, so we're going to do the track control station we're going to do, at the time management and the fuse that we're going to be doing for this one, it was supposed to be. It's gonna. It was gonna be the the original. The current use I use is for practice one. I use track consolidation, try time management program, and the cover page for practice one. And for practice two and three, fuel saving, weight stretching, and the rest of them. If I'm if I passed them or not, or not, or haven't passed just yet so far. Then, and then here are the team objectives for this Grand Prix weekend. We've got here are the team objectives. We need to go optimum fast in the second second time in the cover pair. We have to. Do, we're, we're going to do that next video. Then in the next part of this. Game part of Tracy career mode on my career mode, guys. And we, oh, we got clean lap, drive a whole lap without leaving the track. Okay, got it, Dan. Top speed, set, be, be the average speed, top speed. Yep, absolutely. Low fuel, compare fuel, fuel lap, uh, fuel full lap by using minimal fuel. Yep, minimal fuel. Yep. And DOS tested. Activate the track with talking system or DOS during our practice process and see to test it if it's, it's per, is it working. Per perfectly right, uh, really working well so far. Okay, so that's the, that are the so those are the team objectives that we're going to try and hopefully try to do these tasks and let's hopefully do these programs as we can then around the supply and so circuit in Malaysia as we can then in this first precedent in this video, guys. So I'm further do the track temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, air temperature 30 degrees Celsius. So let's get into this. Let's get into the track station. Let's go. Yes, Jeff? Willie. Okay, so Jeff said that it might be rain expected. Well, let's have a look at the rest of the rest of the weather for the next few videos. So it will be clear for practice too. A bit of chance of light wing here in the circuit in, in practice free. 
crop but there is rain expected and oh it's gonna be a rainy way always a rainy race is gonna be on race day oh can't wait for that a heavy rain race in malaysia wow have you like it was in 2009 and 2012 wow all over again eh okay okay let's get into the track because so after a bit of information message and the weather report way off for the for this whole race weekend so yeah it's gonna be rainy on the race day on the live stream video we'll be going to be doing this very very soon very soon in the live stream video coming soon in the future but without further ado let's get into practice program of the track consultation and let's do this and hopefully let's do some good ones and hopefully try to nail, gain the and nail those corners and hopefully pass it as we do it all the time most of the time in the last few races let's do this okay here we go here are the circuit that form don't use anymore okay top speed that's I want the team of to be completely done Good, that's a good start there. Okay, round the five corner, we come through and on, on the start first slide straight there in Malaysia for the Malaysian Grand Prix. As uh, there's a patrol's logo, possibly from Mercedes. Uh, sponsored from for the Mercedes F1 team. Yep, use that side as a nose between it. Um, Patronas from one team from Mercedes. As we go through that tight turn one and then it's a left of turn two kink. Now these corners brilliantly around Sepang then in Malaysia there. As we go through this, this Long white right turn three. This long white right hand does we go up the kink down here and into turn four. This is where Schumacher had that spin on the opening lap in 2012. Um, Malaysia Grand Prix after got tagged by the Lotus of Women Grosun. That what happened that first lap anyway. We're getting quite good. We're putting some good effort. We'll be with greens there. Like going a bit slow there. And yeah, oh, we're going to be too deep at turn seven there. As we just better miss that turn eight, unfortunately that's gonna be a, a wet for that for missing that that apex. We need to gain a oh no bit of a spin and none of speed then oh my god I'm struggling here for this first lap of this track to tell station because all my hard will all my times all in the past few ways of doing this is completely well done in my head there a lot then so yeah. And if we go into, oh no, that's too wide, that's too deep, that's too much tire pressure and too hard on the car and on the throttle a bit. God, that's too hard on the pace that was for uh, going through that twisty tight turn 14 section there after turn 13. But guys, DRS testing, yep, good job. That says it's been cleared and good. Okay, purple, we try that on both straights, great. Okay, we got past there, means we've done that. Let's go for purple now, let's do that then, Jeff. Okay, here we go, right, go on the curves a bit there through turn one, and through into turn two. Purple going well so far, doing well so far here in Malaysia. We go along here. So yeah, 50 quarters this circuit is, the supply gets us a circuit as we go into this right and on turn four, and yeah. 445 points there, so we're up to about 100 now, 105 now. Need to aim those, now need to hit these apex and hit those corners if we need to try and get a lot more time into my so and hopefully beat the others. And I need to look at the power unit. Oh no, 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 the deeper cars. That corner was it's so difficult trying to handle then for this guy. Well, and although it is not that much, not much of a try, another, another slight. Mistake a slight moment there, but this time we got a green the turn nine and a bit of turn ten. Oh, oh, just gone too it's too deep there. Too, it's a little bit deeper going to turn eleven there into that corner there. Turn three now. Let's try and hit that corner. Then. Oh no 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 no! Damn it, missed it. God, this is so tricky. For goodness sake. Anyway, the NGJ oh, it's why we're in that high. So the engine store. None have gone up slightly a bit there, except for the turbocharger. After the first few laps, after the first lap of this, this, this program of this type of this practice program, they'll be doing the track consultation around the circuit. Okay, last lap there, we've got 45 points we got for that. Then for that score, then means we, it's going to be a pass or a failure for that. We go through turn one and into turn two, and yeah. Great. So let's see how I'll do well for this last one, and then after that we'll go head back to pick because I need to get my tea because I'm having lovely pasta carbonara because that's my favourite then. Because I know how long it means a lot that I told you guys in the past 
um, today, I'm, for tonight's meal, I'm having in Pasta Cup, and I'm going too wide there too fast, I'm talking too much about my dinner. God, I need to focus, I need to concentrate on this, then more than driving, like, on the road, and oh my gosh! <sighs> for goodness sake with that, sorry for this, guys. God, trying to tackle, trying to do the tragedy, adjust my adjustments to the setup of the car, there. it's really, really tricky, and yeah, so tough in there. I might need to do some minor gym and further adjustment to the car, and yeah. But with that, I hope I will stop the car from sliding back and skid you off there and on kip and stop going onto the car and sliver and use, use a bit of a rear anti back wheel spin. And hopefully, that will not force the car to but to spin round, to spin round and go do the first direction. So, yeah. So, we completed the practice program. We got green, but could go in for purple there. So, yeah. So we completed that, we're on the white one medium tire, we now know as the white one hard tires now in real life for, in my, for one of the days now though as we complete this, so let's head back to the pits and let's do another one so yeah Bridges Mars done, yeah, we're coming into the pits, I didn't slap then um, Jeff, so with that down, I nearly lost the card down and I'm gonna spin the car around I don't want to have the card down, I'm having a poor in the previous race then in the live stream, full way stream video but let's head back to the pits then guys and let's Let's do another pass program. Another mistake there for myself. Gosh. Okay, I'm back. Good news, I've managed to find the TV remote underneath the settee, the settee on my family sofa, yeah. Under the black couch, yeah. But with, so with that, so we found the couch, um, the TV remote all sorted then. Here's the results of the practice program that we did. Yeah, yeah. Average and optimal, yeah. Around to one through there and Purple in, the, in turn three and the longest white king at turn three. This long white hand at turn three, and then through turn four and five, average and optimal to the pace. Then, yeah, to the first second pace. Yeah, going too deep and poor. Yeah, into nine there and lost the back end and slowing up. Yeah, slow that was. Yeah, and going too deep there at, at turn three because I kept going the curves. Yeah, trying to hit the king, the kings, and hit the bank kings, and however hit the apexes, and yeah, and with that we forced the card to be too hot, we put us on too hard, and that forced the card to to lose understand and lost the back and must save it there, guys. With that, there's going to be a hard circuit to try challenge then to navigate. So I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some um, increase down force or increase top speed. I think we should increase down force. I'm going to go for. Few low safe, yeah. Fung wing arrow, I'm going to take it down to six or up to nine, yeah. And so the fung arrow. Photo though, 80. And so the photo off the photo, eight, um, 80%. And I just want the photo, 76 percent will do. Fung wing camber, two, six, two, 70. One to rear camber, 140. 0.8, oh, we, we 0.1 for the front rear toe. And the rear toe, we put it down to 0.35. Put suspension five, yeah, we spent five. Anti rubber down to six, and so it's the rear then. And from right height, we'll take it down, we'll go up to eight then on the front and the rear, we'll see at seven. Break bias 78, break bias um, 61%, we'll increase that up then by much. And yeah, okay, good. Let's save it then, and let's save it as the Malaysian Grand Prix sub. Then I'm going to tie that in. Um, I'm just gonna take a bit though guys, so I'll be right back and then after that, after that type of 10 we'll, we'll go do the time management program, the next practice program we're gonna do next for practice one. Okay, there we go, so we're gonna equip that. Okay, we've done that. Okay, so let's test it, let's test it out then. Okay, and um, as we get into the track, the time management program, we need to ease up the tire, try to take it easy and steady around the square, not do it too, too hard. Remember the objective is going to average tire wear. The tire management is a critical part of Formula One. Understanding how your driving style affects the lifespan of your tires is every bit as important as setting a fast time. Formula One tires have a infinite a finite, finite, a finite amount of grip, and each time they drive in sideways, brakes or corners, some of the tire life life is used up. You can extend the life of the tires by being less aggressive on the steering wheel in high speed corners and the photo on the exits of tight corners is yeah is difficult. Quick note 
Oh, shut up, Mom. <laughs> I might need to use some more of this later on. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for a bit of a quick note from that from you. Alright, oh, let's get into this then, guys. Let's do the time management program test around Saplang. So the realize, so the realize I'm doing this to try and save these, these, to add these, these current parts units I'm using then for, to some of the power units, to the NGUK, to the most generally to the NG store and the turbo combustion engine and the turbocharger, is because I want to use them. It's trying, and I hope I can use the, 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 the less amount to wear of the the parts of the engine to use for qualifying and the race. In the proof the whole the, to try and fix the situation up to the race for my race pace program to my my race strategy to help me out it along the way. Okay, oh that's a bit too deep and hard going into turn four because that is a tricky that is a tricky joint and then it's turn five is a difficulty section. Oh Oh, taking it nice and steady and flat out then, not doing it too hard and kickly then. Oh, that's so fast that is they're going through there. We're in the green, so we go up to a good cap. We're, we're on to a target of, of average time. We're going to careful on the oh, bit to one blink and more five brace and one blink on the on the controller there. So trying to turn in the corner kink. So we go into turn 11. Oh, was it turn 12? No, that, that's turn 11. And there's sweeping handers, left handers, and the right handers. KSS is slipping S section of turn 3. And the turn 3 is the difficulty part section, as yeah, we're such a prayers when Tom, when he was chasing Flanders lost to victory in the trade 12 Malaysian GP race. When he was waiting for the Samuel, lost racing 4, when it was waiting for Fiore. But now he's racing with Aston Mike and Press racing with Rebel Racing. As we come through to the fire core, which is 180 degree left hander. Come through, come through that. My team has just gone ahead of me as we go complete this, and we got average tire wheel, perfect. And we got ahead of the team on the on the last lap. Then good job there. <laughs> All right, so we go to do our second lap then. So for we go, we're above now, not below the target lap time there. Then we need to do the better average we have to do then. So let's just not slow down and think about anything. Let's just focus on this. Okay. One to ten down, okay. And oh no. Ugh. There we go. Okay, let's do a bit harder for you here then. Mm. That's good, that's good, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can get purple. Let's see if we can get purple there guys. Oh my god, I'm going too deep down. That's gonna lose a bit of future a fair amount of time there, come. Saving these tyres too much. I think we need to push harder side a bit. Oh, good for my there. That corner nice and steady there. Okay, through here. Come on, let's take it a bit easy and steady pace. There we go. We're going into purple. Then, oh no. Gone too deep there. And oh dear. I think I've done it too hot. I did save it too much then. Let's try and pick up the time there. Let's try and feel done. Because we're below the target lap time. We need to improve that on that. I was so close. Five attempts, damn it! <sighs> okay, we could do that. We're good. I'm gonna try one more attempt of this, and then we're gonna head back straight back to the pits. I'm currently wearing sifting because the other races, the other AI from one drivers have done their fast lap time than me. I have. Yeah, that's the fast lap time. Yeah. We already passed that, Joe. We got Avery's in the first one. We got Green the first time. Now it's wet. So good, but terrible. And then there's a final day lap time in the second lap because we didn't pick up any any time then throughout the throughout the last sector because we lose a bit of time there through that and sector two as well. But sector one is clear or white for me there, so yeah. Okay. This time let's do our best then. <sighs> through the left, the tricky bit then, and this is where where's the. Both the Oz and Sumaka Berger went off there when it starts to wane down around like 3 or 4 of the 2001 Malaysian Grand Prix. Yeah, and yeah. It was a, it was delayed because of physical because he delayed the start of the, on the, after the formation lab because his bed time was, in, was, was outside, was on the one grid spot on the grid after the formation lab. But he managed to do the same again in 2003, two years later, but this time he managed to put it in well, in position there. 
Alright, so good historic memories around uh, here at the Sapagi Dosa Circuit in Malaysia over the years then. Okay, so it's below red again. Um, what can I do? Should I come in? Um, well, it's below red means. Okay, we'll go back up. We'll go back up from this, on this last particular time. So we're going to head straight back to the pits. So that's a pass then. Okay, good. How's the fake kitters doing so well? Oh, another error mistreated again. Oh, for goodness sake. I think I should do that on the track, then not come into the pits then. For goodness sake. I should not do so supposed to do that. Okay, keep messing around in my head then. Let's hopefully talk to my race engineer, my race engineer, Jeff on the radio and tell her how the vehicle is going along, okay? So, see if we can play the time match. I hope we can do this again, see if we get purple then. By the way, we got good, well, in the five prices in second point in the previously in the last race, in part 54, we've done quickly, quick and fast eight turns, great. So, we completed both the track to the turn stage and the time to run management program we managed to do. But it's now time we're going to see about we're going to do the fuel saving program. Yeah, let's do that because I'm going to save um, the rebel soft tires for practice two, and hopefully, if we can hopefully, hopefully improve the desert management time, and hopefully this can help us try to boost our gamble, and then we get, gain us a more resource per we can get then. So doing so well so far. Um, we did um, we did clear out. We drive the whole lap around, leaving the track side of all the surface of the race track then. Uh, complete fuel lot using minimal fuel, in the, like using lean max. Okay. <coughs> so since we've done the Tasman program, let's now do the fuel saving program for three laps. The fuel management program tests the driver ability to save a lot of fuel by lifting and coasting while maintaining a competitive overall lap time. A professor's fuel saver can go faster over the course of a Grand Prix as they can to start the race with less amount of fuel. So, our first lot to so far in this first part set of the Malaysian Grand Prix for this, guys, is a 1 minute 39.557. And yeah, 25.3 in the first set, 33.3 in the second set, but we lost a lot of huge amount of time in, in the final set in set to 3. And gone quickest and out in front is the two Mercs, the two Mercedes, the two Stuart Hours of Lewis Hampton and Patrick Burr. Lewis is in the top of the Times pace, head of his team at Bottas. There's Wycliffe in third, third to fourth. Fifth place, it is Dan Ricardo. In P5, there's Perez 6, Master 7, for 7, 8, Grosso 9, and right on the top it's Fernando Alonso in the McLaren. Then it's, yeah, and the rest of them. Okay, everyone's up uh, for the lap time going through. There's Pasco Fairlight in the in the Sauber as Lewis comes to the pits, and so to Perez, my former wife is out on track, and Master has, is coming into the pits as well in the Williams. And even though he is now fully retired, then, even though this was his last season from before he hadn't done his club. Had a cut up his helmet and he's gloved and he eventually retired. But the only time you want to see Massey in Formula 1 is in Brazil for Sky Sports F1. Alright, let's get into the fuel saving program and this will be the last one for this for this, for this video. Then guys, I'll practice right and then we're going to do qualify pace and race strategy in the next video in practice 2 and 3. For that, in the next part of this video in part 58. But anyway, anyway without further ado, let's get into this. Let's get into the fuel saving program and let's do this test. Let's do this management and hopefully let's ease on and try to save the fuel as much as we can. Oh really? Ten rain expected? Oh come on. Okay, let's do it before the rain hits then guys. Let's do this. I can see a fair bit of clouds starting to appear. Starting to form on because there's gonna be a light rain side. Just like what happened, just like in the same as the Kapoor GP. If you haven't checked the full race live stream video out then guy, it was over three hours long. But I'll just say they do say then go check it out right now and watch the full race distance and unfortunately it was, it was a terrible team of result for me because the race in P15 when my teammate Palmer with time of mechanical of a due to a mechanical failure issue to his car in, this, in, 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 the, in, the, in the other way out of the car. So yeah. So hope you see that full way um, and a lot more of that. And please like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more of this. Anyway, as we put it too hard on the few means we need to say Lot of few presses we can then. Okay, so we're gonna ease off the gas. So we need to ease off the floor then as we go along here. Okay. That was slightly okay then. But yeah, picking up the speed trying to put this up time on master mode is so but it's gonna be 50 50 chance of passing or failing this test. Okay. <coughs> 
Okay, this is gonna be the tricky, the, the double the right hand of Kinks then. Then we go like, like the double left hand in Bahrain. Alright, so we're looking sweet, nice and carefully as we narrow the car, hand of the car through this tricky turn nine. We'll lose a bit of a back end on the car slightly a bit there, but we got it, we got that, that edge right nice and fighting and we turn the car right then. Or be on the eight pets on the curbs there. Oh my goodness, man, I need to. Okay, that was not good, that coin was at turn 12. Ugh. So let's find some pace there, and the, and the lap time is going to decrease, and it's going to be going below the, the target time then. It's still above the moment, but we're not, we're not saving a lot of fuel then. Yeah, we're pushing too hard then. Okay, so we go, we're going too deep down, that's going to be our final lap time that would be. But at least we didn't, but a good thing it's in the red, I mean, it's also failed, that's, a, that's not good. Let's turn the fuel mix down, can I change the fuel mix down to lean? God, I can't do that. Why can't, it won't let me do such a thing, because it's because of this test then, it is. Oh. That's too much steeper than I thought it would be. Oh, well, let's turn the let's turn the front bay axe up to 63. Oh, I change the camera as well. Okay, back to this which goes camera spot this one. So we stick it like this, I think we can. Okay, through here, there we go. Oh dear, that on um, that slow that stop. Curb there is gonna hold lose a fair amount of time there, and yeah, that's gonna be a risk to pass it. Oh my goodness gracious! I kept weaving the car about, I get clicked too close to the curves, and then and the bit lose a bit of on the wheel of the car there, start to slid, start to slide about. And with that, that's going to cost me another lap time lost and of. Yeah, another five day lap time it is. Okay, let's go for one more lap then, guys. Okay, this is it. Come on, let's do it. This is the last attempt. The final, the final last lap. If we do not do it, we have to do this. Uh, we have to do that test another time to feel something problem because we want to get some resource point if we're, gonna, if we're gonna be, if we're gonna able to try and get that wear floor on the tray for the Sussex to the, to the car to equip it for. I don't think we'll not be waiting for the next race in Japan after Malaysia. I think we might be waiting for the US Grand Prix. It will be the race after that, Japan. So that's what the trace event for Canada used to be like then. Alright, as we go through to turn 5. So Pank has completely had tough tight corners that it has then. But God, I think not for like, like that dramatic fatality 2009 race then. The way it's coming, it's going to be hitting the next 5 minutes. Because my team boss way just just talked to me on the radio. Okay, we're now for that. Let's have a quick uh um uh, think of me a major message there about the fake competitions then. How they're going so far and doing how they're doing so well so far and well being then so for that. That was close. Great, so operating good temperature here. Okay, got that. Oh god, that's too much. Okay, I think I used too much fuel there. God. <sighs> Poor fuel saving, that is not good. Can we go too hard there because, gosh. I'm not wasting here, I need to try to do that again. I'm afraid we failed this few saving tests around this for the first press day, guys. Oh dear grief for that. Which we will have to go again then. I'm currently waiting 18 quick so far, so this is not the best useful time I'd want to have then. So with that done, let's head back to the pits and see what we've done wrong there on this program of the fuel saving program guys so as we have a look then so what have we done well full fault we've gone too much on the full fault by 73 percent the only thing we say fuel is around turn seven yeah a bit of turn nine we've gone a bit too high for turn one turn nine the last corner and turn 14 that's too much i mean we need to use a more braking we do nine percent braking ten percent coasting because we're trying to get 
I'd like to end it positive as this is clear as possible, but yeah. That is not what we want to have though, because we need to save a lot more fuel than that, so yeah. But the way it is coming in the next 10 minutes, so if we get, um, I couldn't wait 18, so I can hopefully do some one on the soft top before the rain, before the sour hit, but yeah, we might do that for my two or, or three laps, so I'm gonna go out again and I'm going to let you guys watch some of my lap times I'm gonna be doing on this when we're soft time, and then when we're waiting here, that's gonna be done for this time, and no one will not put that lap time, so I'm gonna try my best way, get ahead of some of the, try get ahead to the field, get, get up through the position, and hopefully where I'm gonna be be quicker, see where I'll be fastest, and tell me where I'll be fast, where I'll be at the end of this first process, and then. So we're going to try to prove our lap time there. So I think I'm going to go for driver, and then I'm going to go do this for, I'm going to go around the four, to do one or two laps, and then come into the paper because the way it's going back to hit. Oh, don't, oh, don't tell my teammates coming to pit, then. Oh, oh, yes, he is. All right, I'll be, I'll be. I'll be back in, I'll be out on track then guys and do the few laps and then wait until my pommet comes out and then comes to, uh, as he comes to the pits then to, yeah, and he's beyond the one well, with me to tie, so I'm going to head out right now and I'm going to do some flying laps out on the circuit for, for, see where I'll be, where I'll be at the end of this first press. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Two eyes wide open, foot on the puddle, all on the top face, slide straight away. This was packed straight away there, and we're proving. And let's see how well we do on the soft tyres. Okay, so let's go. I'm saving. I'm putting the fuel into the main so I can save a, some fuel I can use for the race then, very soon. Okay, for we go to turn two, and another proof ball. What's the use to that then? For me, going to have to, to slow down to save a bit of fuel. Oh, because I'm doing a low fuel lap because I need to try and pass that for that for my team objective test. Because that's on the left, that's on the left. Oh my god, slipping but why it's really a bit there deep there because the track is getting a bit slippery and it's gonna be dampened a bit because the rain is expected to hit the next five minutes. As just just told me of that. And then and when the rain hit that no one could have put a lot of time, we're gonna end the session right there and end the video right there. Okay. So for we go into turn A and 9 through the apex as we go through along the circuit in Malaysia. Okay, tricky turn line coming up then. Oh no, 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 no! That's horrific. That's terrible. That's a work. Like I'm driving about like a child. God, so I need to put a big mob in the engine and yeah, low ways of blade battery power like which is so sucks. Ugh. Mm. Here we go to turn 14. Two seconds down from our personal best lap time so far. Okay, so at least I think we're gonna complete this. So, yep, uh, clean small lap then using low minimum as a few. There we go. Now, around the five code to put it back up to standard then. And over like 2.7 seconds down that was. And there we go. Yeah, and it's so sorry, in tears then, Jeff. Okay, this time we put the few up to standard now, it means we complete that. We complete another two, another objective. Um, Task done on there, it's completely ticked off then on the team objectives program. Great. <clears throat> Very good progress, but the soft tires are not quicker than my good race, good put, um, good good one on the mid tire. What's the competitive between this I mean between the yellow or um um soft tires and the rebel super soft tires? Actually this is the rebel super soft tire this is I'm using. Better than the so, but yeah, well, soft tyres then. What the heck is the differences to that between these lap tyres? This is not good. Looks like it might be the issue though. Ugh. Damn it. Can I 80 quickest? Oh, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, at least I'm ahead of the two south, but behind my teammate. Me, we need to do some bit of change in my adjustments after practice free. Because I'm using this to try and save the other parts for the race and qualifying and see where I'll be in. No, that's it, that's it. We might have to come straight to the pit because the way it is coming, I expect it to tip then in a couple of minutes' time then. But let me just face off this lap and then it will come in straight to the pits the next lap. So I know this has not been a good first process for me so far. But I'm doing this then for the race, okay? 
But I'm saving the, the rest of the units of the other parts, I'm saving it for the raid. I'm using these to wear these out then on my on my big power stone, okay? So we've done it on a lot then, so on the soft tie, so yeah. So the way is so it's gonna be a hit now and it's gonna be pulled down, it's gonna be spinning rain now into the second and I'm gonna head back to the pit. So that's gonna be all that is gonna be for part of this one then. So let's head back to the pit and have a look over what's going on for my laptop a lot recently. And see how the upgrades uh, haven't gone as planned as it should have been. To try and boost my car because my car is like a bit more boosted than that. The soft tyres are it's, it's the quickest laptop for me, better than the than my than the super soft tyre. God, what the heck is going on? Okay, I think I might change some of the parts. I never was on out on intermediate tires. Let's see what the rest of the is going to be. We've got about 40, 40 minutes to main means. If it doesn't dry up later to one means, we'll get, we might end the video right there. We'll go skip the and then we might we'll skip the rest of the session and end up this video right here, though, guys. So let's see. Heavy rain, 20 minutes. I don't think it's not going to improve. Let's see what's happening in 45 minutes. In 30 minutes. Down to light rain. And we go back to dry then. Let's see. <laughs> yep. Well, for this in 45 minutes means, unfortunately, um, it will not dry up at the end. So, yeah, we'll we'll skip the rest of the set We're going to skip the end of the first part of the set and see who's going to who's the top of the going to be. Well, it's going to be the two Mercedes going to be our, our quickest. So, it'll be Hamilton, then the Bottas, then it's Fatal, Raikkonen, Ricardo, and me, Diane P18. So, it's going to be like that as we end the first part of the set right there, though, guys. So, yeah, let's get to, let's head, let's skip to the end of the first part of the set and let's have a look at the results. See you again soon. Yeah, to the next video then. So here, this is where it is right now. So yeah, found the equipment up here. The Bacalza are pretty finding some dominance in the first part. So it looks like the soft and mid tires are very poor, but not the super soft tire. Even though they haven't put the hard tire. Wait, did I put the hard tires on? Uh, let me have a look and see. Um, let me have, let me go to my. Let me see. Let me go to my then. Um, no improvements there. Damn it. And there's no incidents good. So there's the two Mercedes or Hamilton bar top round top the timey seats, their pages in the first part practice of the Malaysian Grand Prix here as the Plank here as the Plank in South Circuit with two three hours in third and four. We call was fifth, while his team first time could only minus ninth. Grosser was tenth, while the fourth seat Joe struggled with press in sixth and Ocon and Ocon down in twelve. The two tour also find some pace. Well for my team rounds and so we were trying to struggle a bit. But yeah, but at least I had a Pascal Fell and Marcus Eriksen to two sabers. So, but me and Paula, we've got a lot of things to do then to the car then. So, yeah. Well, that first process has gone quite well, okay? So, we've done that. Let's now um, get in. Let's get back into the to the, to the, to the, to the, to the driver press conference in my bit. And let's hopefully do some adjustments. But before we go, let's see how many resources we might earn and might earn for, and gain from that. First price that we earned 110, so not pretty too bad though. So if you pass the track, could start season, pass the time as a practice program, but fail on the fuel saving program means we haven't done the race ready and the cover page means we that will be in the next video in practice two. Then we pass 14, which is that possible fire at group four of the five and the 10 laps clear. Yeah, please cover 10 laps. Yeah, and plenty for yeah, good, great, so good. Alright, so let's have some of the engine part. My house holds us up slightly a bit there, guys. Okay, so next time, next time, next time we're going to press two. We're, I think we should, we're going to change, I think we should change, um, change the turning button down then a little bit. I think we should go for, at least we need a replacement though, for each, each one, don't forget, our sixth one. Let's put one here in there. Let's use this, then this, get, you probably need five for the next video. And we'll, Switch the mode generated kinetic part unit from 3 to 4. Good. That would decrease down the overall wear down to about 44. And anything else? Then is there less than? No. We leave the mode generated hit like that. And we should just we decrease the energy store. We equip the fourth one. We put in the third one in the race. Okay. And yeah. Turbo toilet part unit 4. That's 40. And we switch the unit. Down. We'll switch the unit to the fourth one on the controller that we haven't used yet. Yeah, good. That will be good and useful for us to use in the next video then for parts 2 and 3. But yeah, we'll hope that will help us out in the next video then, guys.
But anyway, guys, that's the end of this first price set of these Malaysian Grand Prix. I know this is not being a good one set for me for, for, for my for first 18 crickets in the first part of practice then. So yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment down below what you think of this video. And subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell notification below as well if you want to see more of this. And it has been the first by you, you see it by name. Then do, do, do say a big fan thumbs up and join the James Gary channel for more daily content video. But apart from that, other guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Then next time, then we're going to be going for going to practice two and three for the major Grand Prix, and uh, hopefully we can do some more practice program. But anyway, that's all we've got time for today. I want to thank you all very much for watching the video, and I will see you all guys in the next video. But anyway, that's all we've got time for, for today, and I'll see you guys later.